Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Random Thoughts and Observations, Randy and Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and we'll get into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Annie Russo, Proposals and Proclivities. It's by J.L. Bauman. Now this book is like a continuation of the book Annie Russo, uh, Tenacity Born. And it takes... Annie's life from right where she left off in Tenacity of Born and takes her through her early adulthood up until about the time she's reaching middle age or she feels like she's reaching middle age. The book paints a beautiful word picture. It describes in so much detail that you could actually see what the characters are saying. You actually know more about the characters than you do in a lot of these more modern day novels or other books you actually know more you actually can feel what the different characters are feeling you can actually develop a relationship with the different characters um, like with Annie's father you actually feel like you know him you actually feel like hey you could be there um, interacting with him now the the author paints such vivid pictures in your mind it reminds me of Tolstoy uh, like in the very first book, he gave a very vivid description of a fine dining experience, so much so that you could actually taste the food. And uh, he does describe a buffet dinner in here, but not as in as much detail as he described with the shrimp cocktail and the desserts and that sort of thing in the uh, the original. But, you know, the, the book here, it takes you in such a way that you can actually feel remorse when uh, characters die you actually feel remorse for them uh, you feel sad like you've lost a, a family member or a friend and you actually see maybe what's going through the mind of the uh, extra characters the additional characters the supporting actors or whatever you actually can see into their minds a little bit with the different descriptions that you get um, you can actually feel the uh, concern that uh, the different characters have had for maybe business problems or life problems or whatever. You can actually feel it. You can feel the joy when a child is born. You can feel the grief and remorse when uh, one of the characters dies. And uh, it's just so well written, so well described that you can't help. You really can't help but feel like this is a part of your life. Like it's not a book you've read, but like it's you know a chapter of your own life. It's not like uh, some of this mind Play-Doh that you see where it's all about sex or whatever. In this book, there's some uh, intimate scenes, but it's not graphic. Um, the only real problem I see with this book is it uses the Lord's name in vain one time. And uh, other than that, it's just very well written. We wholeheartedly suggest this. We think you should buy the first book and read it uh, cover to cover first. Then move right on to this, and you'll enjoy it when you have... Uh, copies of both books in your possession. Thank you. Ready to order? Click the link below.